Welcome everybody to the Red Stars' post-match press conference. We have Ali Schlegel, Coach Donaldson, and Ava Cook with us. As always, if you have a question, please use the raise your hand function and I'll use it to call on you. Who wants to kick us off? Oh, uh, Jonathan, go ahead. Thank you. He's requesting to record. Oh. oh. Thank you for that. <laughs> I know it's probably hard to read upside down. Uh, you Jonathan, you're <laughs> muted. You I know. Try to mute? Sorry, there we go. Fixed go. it. Sorry about that. Um, hi, everybody. Jonathan Tannenwald from the Philadelphia Inquirer here. Lauren, Lauren, congratulations Thanks, on Jonathan. getting the win tonight. Just what does it mean to you to start off with a victory like this? Oh, it's always good to get, I mean, to get a W, you know. I think it means a lot more to the girls than me. We're just trying to just, I'm just trying to just push them along and, you know, they should be proud of themselves and um, the club should be proud and, you know, the ownership. So it means a lot, lot to them, but it's always good to um, to start with a win. Thanks. Thanks, Jonathan. Joe, go ahead. Hey, y'all. Congrats on the win. Uh, Allie, if I may mm -hmm. ask you first, uh, I know you already got asked a couple questions on the broadcast, but can you talk us through that goal, especially we talked about all last year, the struggles of this team moving the ball into the attacking part of the field. Seems like Sam Staub has really helped with that. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that we we know as a group that Sam Staub has kind of a lethal left foot. And I think when she's in a position to serve the ball in the box, that's where I'm trying to get to. I think we know that um, her service, again, is lethal, and she has the ability to be super accurate. So I'm just trying to get on the back shoulder of defenders and just you know, meet that ball at the right timing and put it in the back of the net. So I think that the focus is just when those players are on the ball, how and how quickly can we get into the box? Awesome. Appreciate it. Uh, that celebration, how did that go? Uh, we talked about it on media day. Was that one of the ones with the kid that you uh, choreographed the kids? <laughs> that one was not. This is just, you know, some give me more. Give me more. I want more. <laughs> and uh, speaking of more, we got more cooks tonight. <laughs> yes, uh, Ava, Ava and Allie, or Ava, talk to us about that because that, that was something else. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of destined to happen, I feel like, at some point. So we said, let's just skip to the point, and we'll do it right off the bat. Um, yeah, it's fun, you know? Like, it's, it's, I know it's, um, it's always a good play on words. Um, and it was great. I mean, she got herself in a really good position, um, and all I had to really do was just clean it up for her a little bit. So um, it was a great little connection that we have, and I'm excited to keep doing it, so... Is there a little catharsis getting a goal not against Angel City? <laughs> I definitely <laughs> felt really weird. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, hopefully uh, it won't just be Angel City this year. <laughs> of course, and Lauren, just seeing this group, uh, you know how hard they've worked this last month to see their hard work rewarded, understanding there's still more to go. Uh, how is that feeling? No, it's always feel good, as I say, when, when you can get a W, you know, especially away from home. And it's, you know, with this group, we're going to work harder, you know, we're basically, you know, we're, you know, we're scratching the surface and hopefully, you know, the sky's the limit for us. You know, we're just trying to get better. Okay, we're going to work hard at it. Awesome. Well, thanks. Uh, good luck finding a drink to celebrate, but uh, have safe <laughs> travels home. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Joe. Jose, go ahead. Hi, guys. Jose Gudinho, Conexión Deportiva. Congratulations on the victory. Uh, it's always good to see you happy, guys, and everything. Uh, and coach, uh, this is this one is for you, coach. Obviously, there are many things to highlight about this game, but what are the opportunities that would you uh, you would like to work during the week? You know, I think we're gonna work from. You know, we always work. You know, when we work, we work from the front to the back. So it's it's everything. You know, we're not satisfied with just um, just a victory. So you know, we're not satisfied just with one department. You know, the front of four is going to work hard, the midfielder, the defenders, and, you know, Alyssa, Alyssa and the goalkeeping crew, they're going to go at it again because she's the hardest working person I've ever seen in my life as a, as, a, as, a, as a soccer player. So the entire group will work hard. That's, I mean, that's what we know, and that's what we, we want to do. So we're going to do it all over again. Thank you. And I guess this is for, for everyone. How exciting are you guys uh, for playing at home next next week? Uh, home opening after this victory. How does it feel? How, do, how are you guys feeling? 
Yeah, we're freaking pumped. Like, I think having a performance like this, a gritty performance, I think we want to bring that back to Chicago. And I think um, we're excited to play in front of our home fans and get a W for the for the city of Chicago. Thanks, Jose. Um, uh, Leslie, go ahead. Sorry. <clears throat> Hey guys, congrats on the win. Uh, I just wanted to ask about, uh, in the first half, you, you guys didn't have the ball for a very long time. Uh, how did you um, just kind of keep that patience going for the first half? Well, um, let me answer that. Um, it's, I mean, <clears throat> we have worked on stuff like this. If we don't have the ball, we still got to play. So, I mean, but um, the ball wasn't, it wasn't, it, it wasn't dangerous against us. So it wasn't a lot of worry, you know, it was, the ball was still still in their half most of the time, even though they have it. So there wasn't I wasn't very concerned about it. I know when we get it and we settle down, you know, okay, it's the first fifteen, twenty minutes, you know, the nerves that has to go and we have to get through that phase and then when we start getting on the ball, I think things change a little bit. And then uh, just for uh, Ali and Ava, getting getting that first goal out of the way in the first game, how's that feel? <laughs> oh my god. What a relief it is. Like, I think, you know, again, obviously there's a ton of nerves, like we said, going into this first game. And I think we always, we had belief coming into this game that we were going to put the ball in the back of the net. But I think, um, I don't know, you just kind of black out. Mm -hmm. And then when it happens, you, know, you get to celebrate and have all the fun. So, you know, <laughs> we're just out here trying to have a good time and, and score goals and put it in the back of the net. But I think now that that's, you know, first one's done, now we just get to have a full season full of fun and full of goal scoring, so. Yeah, and for me, equally as important, <laughs> if not probably more important, is the fact that we didn't let any goals in. Period. And <laughs> our our back line and Alyssa, everyone for that matter, was um, phenomenal on defense today. So I think they get, they don't always get a big shout out because, um, you know, scoring goals kind of takes the light sometimes, but I think they deserve probably more recognition yeah. um, than they get. So big shout out, couple goals. We're happy over here. Yeah, we cannot leave this press conference without talking about Alyssa Nair's performance today. <laughs> I mean, it's just electric and lights out our back line. You know, it's a team effort. And just like Ava said, we don't do this without everybody. And that's, you know, all of our mentalities. All right, awesome. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks, Leslie. Uh, LT, go ahead. Hey guys, uh, it's nice to meet you, uh, Coach and Ali. Um, my name's LT. Ava, it's nice to see you again. How's it um, going? Congratulations. <laughs> congratulations on the uh, results and the first one of the season. Um, Lauren, the, your thoughts on your starting 11 and um, will there be rotation in the starters until you kind of find the right fit or or is this kind of a group that, that you're really looking forward to through the season? No, there's always rotation. It's gonna take, it's gonna take a lot of players too. To, to win, you know, you know, sometimes players are banged up, sometimes players are a little bit out form, and sometimes, you know, the type of game or a game that we play might dictate a different lineup, a little bit different, you know. We're not gonna go crazy and do stuff, you know, because, but there will actually be rotation, but you know, but you know, because that's what it, it, that's what the game's gonna demand, and when you do that, I think it's better okay, to to rotate and keep players fresh, and you know, depending on the game that you're playing. We will tactically make some make some make some adjustment. And a uh, player like Maxi Rawl, I think, turned a lot of heads tonight. Um, what did you see from her in camp that kind of impressed you? That kind of translated into this match. Well, I mean, she came from a different system, so I mean, we've been. Um, I, I thought her second half was brilliant today, um, but <clears throat> she came from a different system, a, a play. So, you know, the adjustment this week was her to adjust now to, to, to this league and the style of this league. Because she played in Germany and she, he, 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 they, they don't play a lot of long balls. It's everything was short, 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 short. But here, it, it's a lot more athletic league and she don't realize that, you know, trying to overlap like P and Mal P and no, it's very difficult. So, <laughs> so, so, so we, have to, we have to pull her back a little bit and say, hey, hey, listen, hey, hey, listen. Just play from behind, and we think you can be brilliant. And I think the second half, she did an excellent job. All right, thanks. Um, Allie, uh, how did you um, 
feel getting the first, uh, getting into that first 11? I know after last year, uh, kind of a back and forth for you uh, in your role during that, uh, in that um, part of the squad, was it feel like to, to be in that starting 11? Yeah, no, of course. I think I always just approach that with gratitude. Um, I think we have incredible players on this team and, and to be one of the starting 11 is something that I'm very grateful for. And I think though, it's just, I remember I think it was Carrie who said this, that like this job is a job that you pay rent every single day. And I think that's our mentality moving forward. Um, we go one and oh, and like coach said, there's going to be rotation all the time, but I think it's a day by day thing. If you're not starting 11, you prepare, but all, every single player on this team prepares that like a starter every single day. And we do that every single day. You know, it doesn't change um, whether I'm in the starting 11 or not. So I think that um, it's just a chop wood, carry water type of mentality that we that we build here. And that's and that's that. And Ava, are, are you and Allie always going to either start together or come off the bench <laughs> together? Is that the plan? <laughs> Lauren, Lauren, is that the plan? I know, I know. Um, <coughs> yeah, I mean, we're 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 just going for it. We're embracing the, we keep joking around and telling everyone that we're cousins, which I guess we should probably stop doing that. But um, it's pretty close. I think our dads have the same name. Uh, both our parents are from Michigan. So it really could be, we, we could be long lost cousins somewhere. Um, no, but it's, it's fun. Allie's one of those people that, and I know you can attest to this, yeah. that honestly works her ass off. Wonderful partner. Like there is no tomorrow. Um, and it, Playing with someone like that is so enjoyable and it's so inspirational. And um, I just appreciate everything she does on the field. And and I think we're kind of, we're all kind of similar players. Yeah. We all kind of have the same name and we all kind of play similarly. <laughs> Pretty good. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely gritty players. So um, it's, it's super fun. All right, thanks guys. Thanks LT. Sandra, go ahead. Uh, Peyton, go ahead. I think I'm unmuted now. Oh, never mind. Oh, there you go. Sorry, go ahead, Sandra. Wait, thanks. Hey, everybody, congratulations on the win tonight. Um, Sandra de CBS Sports. Uh, I guess I got to come through with the, the Mel Swanson question, so sorry in advance. Um, but for you, uh, Lauren, what has it meant to be reunited back with coaching um, Mal and sort of seeing her progression and her return from such a tough injury? And um, then for Ali and Ava, um, just kind of getting this type of striker back in the mix, being able to work alongside her and, and finally reaching this pinnacle and this point with her and the return back. Well, I mean, I'm reunited with, with Matt, but I'm also re reunited <laughs> with this one right next to me too. Right, right. Right. <laughs> She's under that stable. But no, it's always good to get back, you know. I mean, I mean, Matt is a passionate person and, you know, I actually, you know, I have a long history with Matt, you know, even before she was born and no appearance, so the coach or sister also, so it goes way, way, way back, you know, so, um, you know, it's good to get back and just, you know, I'm, I'm proud of her, you know, the way she came back, you know, she had a setback with her injury, but, you know, she persevered and she pushed along and she pushed along, so I could have talked about Mal for two days, but I won't do that. But it's just nice to get back with her. And you guys, how does it feel to play with Mal? Um, that was you, I mean, the, the thing about Mal is that there is, no other Mal Swanson in the entire world. Um, and that in itself is incredibly special. And I'm, we all yeah. are so thankful to play next to her. Yeah. Um, she, her ability, her you touched on her passion. Her passion is one like I've never seen. Um, her intensity on the field is just, it makes you want to run through brick wall. Um, and the way that she can create something out of what seems like absolutely nothing and do it over and over and over again, um, is just, it's amazing, yeah. honestly. And playing with her is, she, she makes our jobs, yeah, she makes our jobs so enjoyable. Um, it's just really an honor to play with her and I'm so happy that uh, she's back and and you can tell the, the impact she has immediately on our team. Yeah, I would definitely harp on everything that Ava just said. I think, you know, Mal has worked her ass off to get back on this field. Mm -hmm. And I think I just see Mal as a standard bearer. Like she just holds a standard like no other day in and day out. And she 
she brings us all up, you know? I think she's constantly communicating with us on the field. I think I value her leadership so much on the field and her communication, her ability to just, you know, direct us, encourage us, um, push us. I think there's a time for everything and, and Mal definitely, you know, she might be the first one to, to help hold me accountable and she's the first one to tell me when I did a great job. And I think that is honestly, as a teammate, something that I couldn't be more, so yeah, like more grateful for. So having her on the field, I think we all um, just find it incredibly special that we get to share the field with her and we don't take any any second of that for granted. And, and maybe just one more for, for the two of you, Ali and Ava, just as two players who um, went through the grind of what last season was, uh, to kind of come out of this win with not only the goals and obviously the return of Mount, Mount Swanson, but a clean sheet and a really, really impressive um, kind of defensive organization out on the pitch. Can you speak a little bit about kind of getting off on, on that right foot in, in, in this league as well? Because walking away with a clean sheet and end of result isn't an easy task. Yeah, no, it's, it's not. And again, I think that just is a testament to the work that's been put o- put in over the last six weeks, you know? I think, yes, there's a lot of new, and I think we moved forward with that. You know, when we got here, we knew there was going to be a lot of new, but we owned that, accepted that, and since the moment we stepped here in preseason, we've been working towards this moment, and I think that's come with chemistry, that's come with the communication. I think we've all bought in, especially to that defensive aspect that you're talking about. I mean, Lauren said it right away. We're going to start from the front and go back, like, our defense starts up top, and I think players like, you know, me, Ava, Mal, Penelope, Ali Cook, everybody that plays up top knows that we have a role in that clean sheet too. I think we can't say enough about the quality of our defense today, the quality of our goalkeeping today. Um, but we all, we all take accountability for that, and I think that's going to be us moving forward. We're going to be a disciplined defensive team because we're all bought into to the success of the team and to getting clean sheets just like Ava said that is almost more important than than well I guess equally as important as us putting the ball in the back of the net yeah I mean no this is a group that is going to continue to push forward regardless um it's it's a new it's a new group it's a new era and we are buying into that as much as we can and we are pushing forward with it as much as we can um and it's just it's exciting yeah it is it is really exciting thanks i uh, appreciate the time congrats on the win again and uh see y'all back home in sweet home chicago thank you thanks, thanks sandra uh Peyton, you can go ahead now thank you thank you guys for your time um lauren uh i was wondering if you could talk about your back line and what you saw today with there being so many new pieces and this being your first like game of the season and of course ali if there's anything you would like to say as well yeah i just i mean it's a it's a it's um when you want to defend and you and you as ali says before when you buy into you know defending because you know if you if you defend well you have a chance and that's one of the first thing that we me and Mac, the coaching staff, when we came in, you know, and, and Brent, our goalkeeper coach, we realized that, and I realized, I know that, you have a chance if you defend well, you know, you will get goals. And, uh, and I think, so far, it's only one game, you know, we can't start doing, you know, cartwheels and stuff yet, you know, we haven't done anything yet. So it's just one game, so hopefully now we can build on what we see, okay? Because maybe the proof is in the pudding, as they say, that, that this can work, the way we play and stylistically, I think I think our approach is going to be similar in most games. And we just, you know, de- defensively, but um, offensively we make we make a lot more adjustment. But defensively, we're going to be very similar in our approach. Thanks. And with oh. that kind of uh, having a new group and having Alyssa come in later after the Gold Cup. Um, was that a challenge at all for you guys, or was that something that you were prepared for and kind of felt comfortable and confident in? Alyssa is like a, Alyssa is a machine. Alyssa <laughs> <laughs> is a different, different, she's a different species. I mean, mm-hmm. she was here working before everybody else was here. She was working while we were here, and she left, and she came back from the Gold Cup, and she showed up, and I'm like, why are you here? I mean, she's ready to go. So, I mean, that's Alyssa. She doesn't miss a beat. So she's unbelievable. Thanks. Thank you. 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 Thank
Thank you very much. Thanks, Peyton. Thanks, everybody, and I'll have a recording out shortly. Thank you.